So, folks, I've talked a lot about Miles Guo. He is the Chinese billionaire who escaped China, comes to the United States. He was just arrested last week for a billion dollar fraud case. The indictment's about 38 pages long. Um, if convicted, he would face 215 years in prison. Now, what's so odd about this is Miles Guao is a guy that when he got here, he went to the FBI warning America about a potential pandemic launched by the CCP and their plans to do it. I am told by sources close to Miles that he went to the FBI years ago to expose that plan. And the FBI did nothing about it. And that plan apparently goes straight to Xi Jinping, which is why Miles Guo is enemy number one for the Chinese Communist Party. Now he faces this 38-page indictment. I've read through all of it. Uh, they say he bilked investors. But of the thousands of, that's a quote, thousands of victims, guess what the Department of Justice doesn't do? It doesn't name one victim. In the indictment, it doesn't even label one complaint from an unnamed victim. It's just 38 pages of what the Department of Justice says Miles Guao did. The investors, which you saw earlier, they came out, many of them, and held a protest against the Department of Justice. I've never seen this. I've never seen a guy arrested for fraud and the investors come out wanting him freed, okay? Something doesn't smell right. But here's what's really funny. The judge in this case when Miles Guo went before him to plead not guilty, this judge issued a ruling, and it reads that the government must disclose all evidence favorable to the defendant. Now, why would the judge have to issue the prosecution and the FBI in order to make sure they disclose every ounce of evidence? I believe it's because the FBI now has a history of not supplying those accused of crimes any evidence. The judge offers up this ruling to say, hey, make sure you disclose this. Now, and adding to all of this, just bizarreness, is hours after Miles Guao was taken downtown to be questioned by the FBI, a fire breaks out in his apartment. Like six hours after he's gone, guess who's in the apartment? FBI agents. FBI agents in his apartment, they call it in. It's a two-alarm fire. And then it gets even worse. In court, the prosecution is asked, what role did China play in this prosecution? And the prosecutors, the Justice Department, the, the federal government, says, quote, we worked a lot with China. Now, this is the CCP's enemy number one. What do you mean you're working with China? China's our enemy. How do you work with China on a case where you're going after their number one enemy who's literally trying to tell Americans about China's plan to unleash a pandemic on us, and they're working with China?